I had no father. And many of you don't have no father. And in me from a distance you found a father. But you wouldn't have had a father if my wife was a woman grabbing me saying, sit down here and hold my hand and let's look at uh, the TV tonight. That's right. I taught nearly seven nights a week as a young minister growing up, growing up in Boston and studied all day taught through the night. I did this for nine solid years. Takes a heck of a woman. And whether you know it or not, it takes a heck of a family to endure that kind of life and still love their father in spite of the problems to love a man that really has never been to you what you expected as a father and that's why children get disappointed because they expect me to throw the ball I'm not here to throw no ball get your uncle one of your brothers over here that got time for a ball. I ain't a ball thrower. I'm studying to deliver a people. When I'm dead and gone, you realize what you had. You may never realize it while I'm with you. Wali! I never knew how much I loved this man. I know I loved him, but I didn't know how much I loved him until I know I can't see him no more. Then every day I think about him. This is the way human beings are. They never fully realize what they have in their midst until they don't have it anymore. Somebody got to make a sacrifice in order that others may live. He sacrificed. And Zenobia didn't always understand why this man was driven. That's why it's such a loss to us. Because he was committed and dedicated to the word of God. You got a man like that, you don't know what you got. You'd rather divorce him and get somebody that will stay there and hold your hand and miss your reward. I'd like to close on these points because everybody's so still in here now. I mean, it looked like we hit the nerve, huh? No, sisters, I'll tell you something. When you come into this kind of uh, teaching, sisters, these men over here, some of them could be your husbands. When this spirit gets in them, they're going to want to deliver their people. Some of these men in here are going to be great leaders of our people. And in order to be that, they're going to have to make a sacrifice. It's not that they want to sacrifice their wife. It's sacrificing their life for something bigger than their life and bigger than the comfort of a wife. And it takes a heck of a woman to understand that kind of reality. All that glitters is not gold. So don't set your sights on something that you may not be able to handle. Be happy with what you got. Because maybe that's all you can handle. We need to know how to be wives to men like this. Because if you're secretly dissatisfied with the man who has a mission, you put that in the children. 
when the man is away a careless word spoken. So the children begin to think that he's away doing something other than what he's doing. And then before you know it, the children begin to hate what he represents. That's why preachers' children are the worst children. Because the preacher is not there. So the children begin to hate the Jesus, hate the religion that robbed them of their father. If it wasn't for that Jesus Christ fella, I'd have a daddy. If it wasn't for that Elijah Muhammad, I'd have a father. If it wasn't for that Master Farad Muhammad, my father would never have had to run in the wilderness and go to jail. And I had to walk around in a long dress and people mocking me and laughing at me because of that man and his teaching that my father believed in. So that's what happens to children when they're pained in looking at the pain of their parents. This is not an easy life, brothers and sisters. But I can't help it. This is what I'm born in the world to do. And I'd rather be dead if I could not help to change the condition of my people. There's nothing in this life that gives me joy. Nothing. I have a beautiful car. I have a lovely home. I have nice clothes don't mean nothing without you raised from this condition I don't need to live no more I'm just telling you straight up there's nothing that is born in this world that can give me lasting happiness but to see you rise I'm just telling you what I know to be a fact